risk management register as a title, the title of the document. You can write the project name, the date, data date for your project. And we have here 31st of July, 2016. Serial number, first risk, second risk, third risk. Is it active or closed? So it's active. The risk is related to construction or engineering or procurement or authorities. Okay, so that's the area impacted. Okay, first risk event is delay in monthly payments. Okay, that's a risk event. Okay, what is the cause? What is causing the risk? The employer delayed the issuance of payment certification against the contract conditions. So you can see now, like maybe there is a violation. Maybe I should expect the money as a contractor within 14 days but right now it has been like six weeks and i did not receive any money i did not plan for that accordingly it's hurting my cash flow i cannot pay my subcontractors on time here is the effect it will affect the payment to supplier and subcontractor as well the progress of work time for completion is it a threat or opportunity so according to the pmi a risk is a threat or opportunity it could be a negative or positive event that is all defined under risk in PMI. So it is threat, it's something negative. Because for opportunity, for example, you can say something like, I am right now maybe having a construction methodology based on sustainable material. I am doing the study right now. And if I do it, I will save the construction duration by 20%. It's an opportunity. You can save money or save time, but if it, although it's something positive, you should include it in the risk register. You know, it's an opportunity or threat. Okay, and it's a threat. What is the primary objective? You know, it's uh, it could be time, cost, quality, but is it supposed to be related to cost? It's a money, right? Monthly payment. But the objective here is not cost because you are not having additional cost in the project, your payment is in delay. For example, the employer uh, asked you to change the light fittings. The same example we have been giving, asked you to change the light fittings. Okay, so I'm gonna write now, start all over again, do the engineering work, material, submetal, procurement. So it's gonna affect the time and the employer asked for higher quality. It's gonna be more expensive then the agreed BOQ rate, so it's going to be cost as well. Okay, so additional cost more than the contract rate or the contract agreement. Okay, so the delay in monthly payments did not increase the contract agreement from 1 million to 2 million, did not do that. You still have the same contract amount. Okay, so it's affecting the time because you are in delay because you are not paying your subcontractor on time. It will affect the progress of work. You are not able to purchase material because you don't have money. So it is time impacted. Some, in some cases, it could be a cost if there will be additional cost to the contract value. Likelihood, how likely this will happen? Well, it's a high because it already happened. I mean, it, it exists. I'm not in doubt or it might happen. It happened already. So the likelihood is five. Yeah, so typically in the likelihood, we give a scale one to five. Okay. So one is the lowest, five is the most serious or the highest. Okay. And the impact, you can have an impact of one, like it will not impact anything. The impact is very little or high impact. So in some risk events, you can see something like it's gonna be happen for sure. Likelihood is five but it's gonna cause a very little impact. So something like that. So that's the likelihood and the impact. You need a risk score. I called it here risk criticality, but it is also known as risk score. So under qualitative risk assessment, it's a qualitative because as per PMI, the quantitative risk assessment is another story. It has Monte Carlo simulation. It has a lot of work, but this is a qualitative risk assessment. We are just evaluating on a high level the risk. Risk criticality or risk score equals L for likelihood multiplied by impact I. So it's a 20. 
5 times the 4. Okay, it's a 20. You see me assuming, you know, red or high or medium. In each risk management register, you should have something like that. So I have here the risk assessment matrix. This is my likelihood, which I talked about, the first part of the equation and the impact. Okay, my likelihood in the gray part, one, two, three, four, five. If I go over there, I have five for likelihood. So that's my five here. And that's why I considered it high. Okay, I write high here. Okay, same also for impact. Okay, and I have for impact to four, medium high. I can change that to be very accurate. Like this is medium high to be consistent or comply with the risk assessment. Okay, for likelihood and impact. But the risk strength is based on the risk score, the multiplication. So that's the grid of multiplication, the color area here. That's the risk score. My risk score is 20 when I multiply it both. So it's a 20 here, it's red in the grid. So that's why it's high and it's 20. Okay, what about your risk response strategy? Response strategy is the employer to release payment as soon as possible. The response actions by the employer. What is your target date so you will not affect the project as soon as possible? The project is already being impacted. How often you want to check that on a regular basis? Weekly. It's very, very important for me. But if you have maybe the risk that did not happen yet because it happened already, the payment is in delay. But if the risk will maybe happen, maybe it will, maybe not, but it will happen and it's a green, it's a low risk. Maybe I wanna have interval check monthly. I wanna check it once a month and see how it goes. Maybe after a month, it will become more serious. So it's gonna change it to medium, not low. So it's something like to think about. Date and review comments like details, for example, like the payment application for the May month, month of May, is delayed by 24 days as of now. 10 days delayed in certification and 14 days overdue, like receiving the funds as of today. So give more details here. We do not have the details over there in the table, but it's the right time to explain everything in details. All right, let's take another one. I'm gonna take a, maybe a medium one and see how it looks like. Okay. So um, it's active risk will affect construction. It's related to MAP work. Okay, what is the cause here? LPG and the firefighting material will be delayed above level 11. Okay, so I know right now the material will be delayed. Will be delayed. The risk did not happen yet. I forecast or I feel that it will be delayed. Maybe I forecast that based on my schedule update. Total float, the forecasted dates early and delayed. I can do whatever I want based on my review of the schedule update. What is the effect in this case? Well, it will affect other finishing works. It will affect the drywall closing, screed work, ceiling grid, and ceiling closure. So it will affect all finishes work. And here's what I'm talking about. So the likelihood, maybe it is not so high because maybe the material is local, okay? so. If I am forecasting delay, maybe I can do something with the supplier to deliver it in a week instead of two weeks as per baseline. Okay, so the likelihood, it's a medium. It is not so high. It is not for sure will happen. But what if the material will be delivered from China and it's a long lit item? I will not show five, but maybe four. I will make it high, make it four. But why it's not five? Because five is certain. It's a certainty. It's from China, it's a long-lit item. But at the last moment, maybe you can have it by air, okay, delivered by air. So you can fast track or maybe push the supplier or uh, add more lines on the assembly line in the manufacturer, uh, in the factory uh, with the manufacturer. It's not certain yet, that's what I mean. So you think maybe you, you cannot do anything about it, but things change. Unless you are certain 100%, make it five. But I would say it's a four, long lit item. Nobody talks about the um, 
maybe shipping by different mode or um, you know something like that or faster tracking the manufacturing nobody talked about it okay and uh, so it's a three and it is here in my grid it's a medium but the impact is high so the likelihood is medium but if it happens it's gonna cause a huge impact so the impact is high five when you multiply them together overall risk score is medium that's why you have to take into consideration both of them the likelihood and the impact because if one of them is very low the other is very high you're gonna have maybe medium at the end okay because if the impact is very high doesn't mean that the overall risk is high because the likelihood is medium and it's 15 if i go over the grid here okay response strategy what you should do expedite civil clearance expedite shipment additional resources so you are saying that i wanna expedite the delivery okay because it makes sense and also i wanna fast track the work on site so when the material arrives i can push more resources and recover the delay so i'm working in two ways right now two recovery strategies one for the shipment itself i'm trying to find ways to deliver it earlier another way also to what if it really happens what if i am the material will be delayed so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add additional resources i'm gonna make sure that i have work front so i can recover the delays which i had who is responsible for that the main contractor mc main contractor target date as soon as possible the earlier the better but in some cases maybe as per your forecasted dates you know the material should be placed six months from now so you are highlighting the risk but you want to say target date we want to make a resolution we want to finalize everything two weeks from now like you know by two weeks from now that's my deadline if i uh, did not make a resolution for this risk it's gonna start causing me delay but right now uh, because maybe the planned lpo or the planned date for placing order maybe did not happen yet okay so maybe i have data date 31st of july as we have seen and the lpo should be placed on 15th of august two weeks after as per baseline so right now you know i want to maybe i have two more weeks until i make a decision but before that i will not be delayed against the baseline how often you want to check it weekly okay more comments here as well like from china will be delayed due to restrictions of covid trade borders you know like more details and that this is also my control requirements like if it's a low the action will be by pm so no required action but we will deal it with a normal activity if it's a medium low we want to make sure the risk is maintained at acceptable level by pm also but if it becomes a medium we have to involve more people the action will be by project director someone who is above the project manager and we need attention right now we we need it to be on our agenda for the weekly meetings something like that we want to monitor closely medium high urgent attention like we want to communicate it with email maybe every day by director and maybe managing director so something who is even above project director if it's a high it is not the responsibility of project manager anymore it has to be dealt with with more senior management okay it's because they are they, they are able to make decisions why i'm not underestimating the project manager but what happens is uh, sometimes like i wanna make the shipment with air freight as i saw here okay with air freight but who's gonna make a decision someone who is from senior management because they can approve cost overrun or additional budget because it will cost you more if you ship the material with air freight that's why it has to be dealt with someone who has the authority 
to change the budget, to add cost, to hire staff, something like that. That's a for hire. 